I'm Abhinav and I'm the founder of Shopify Mini Games. Very quickly, I'm going to show you how you can set up a game on your store within 10 minutes. Now, this is my Shopify store and here I'm going to host a game which is connected to this account. Firstly, click on campaigns, click on create campaigns. These are all the different games we have. A game is called a campaign. Now, there are different types of games. One is like one click games in which user comes, enters their email or phone number and then presses a button let's say slot machine or spin the wheel or a dice game and then they get the reward while the other games are engaging games where a user has to spend 20 30 seconds something like a candy crush something like a tic tac toe something like find name or catch falling objects where we want the user to engage and then get the reward making them like they really earn the reward so i'm going to show you how to make a candy crush game click and select candy crush here okay now there are two main things in which like you know you can display the game one is called an overlay and the other is called a new page overlay means something like you know you have like a widget that comes on your product pages or on your all site and like you know when a user clicks on them that's when the game starts right and the new page is like if you host a game on an entire new page so something like this it's a new page and the person has hosted a game up there so depends on what you want how you want overlay generally has more uh click throughs so let me make an overlay Let's click next. Give it a name, Candy Crush Demo. Lovely. So we have already made a game. Now all we need to do is configure it. Right now the campaign status is off, but uh, you can turn it on once everything is ready. And now go to appearances first. So you can change everything. Like, you know, right from a text color to the background color. If you want to upload a custom image on the background for desktop, these are the specific configurations for mobile. It is this for button color text. Like, you know, you can change everything. Let me just to show you, you can change everything. Save it, refresh it. Okay, now we can see the text color is red. Whatever I choose, right? Now you can have inputs. Do you also want a phone number also? Or, okay, if you want like a name, whatever do you want, right? And okay, let's say if I want a phone number, I will go in and create like a phone number. So now it will ask for both email and phone number and both are required. Or depending on what you want, you can change the font. You can have a scarcity bar. Scarcity bar is like, you know, it just shows like, oh, the offers are about to expire. Let me show you very quickly. Uh, that says, yeah, you see this, like, you know, 80% offers already taken and you can change the color. These are something called as hero images. Hero images is like, you know, how I have this hero image here for different games. Like, you know, if you want to put your own hero image, you can put the dimensions are all set here. You can change each and every text, like, you know, try your luck and get extra 10% off. Let's say subtitle, this is subtitle, anything you want to change, like it's all fully customizable. Uh, now there's something called as floating button, right? Like the widget that comes, which a user can click. So you can fully customize it, like give it like a background, something like this, add your own logos to it. Something like how they have done, oh, like, you know, play and win, like a discount code option. So we have like a few of them here. If you don't want, you can upload your own custom icon. You can see, set the vertical spacing. How high do you want it? Where do you want it? What is the text you want it on mobile, on desktop? And just go by it. Next is triggers, which says that like, how do you wanna, where all do you wanna show it, right? Let's say if I don't want to show it, uh, like it should not contain cart. Like I don't wanna show it on my cart page so that I don't wanna hamper the conversions. So cart is off. And you can see, okay, on the desktop, it's floating button. You can add some delays, like if you wanna show it after five, 10 seconds, same for mobiles. It's very straightforward, nothing to go by here. Now, the very interesting thing is you can configure each and every game according to how you like. So instead of random candies in the Candy Crush, you can actually put your own products in the Candy Crush, right? So let me just go on, edit a sprite, change the game image to something like, you know, like something like this. And then you can change the background color. You can like, you know, like how this has happened. So you can create your own sprite and like, you know, people can create your own games. This goes in for each and every game and you can customize it fully. Like the two major things, actually three major things which are really famous for one is full customizability. Second is no site speed impact. Like, you know, there will be no site speed. We have really, really optimized for it because we have enterprise clients. And the last is uprising, like, you know, compared to the bulk and everything in the Shopify ecosystem, we are the cheapest. Anyways, coming back, uh, you just save the sprite. Now let's go on to the rewards. So every time like you refresh it, just click on refresh campaign once for the effect to take overall. Now let's go to the rewards and we have very interesting thing in rewards. Now the rewards are pretty straightforward. By default, we have created a 5% dynamic reward. Now all you gotta do is you can just keep on creating rewards and then select which one is the final reward. Let's create a reward, let's call it. So there are two types of rewards. Firstly, a dynamic reward and a simple reward. Simple reward is when you already have a coupon code Maybe you created on your Shopify and then you just want to show the same coupon code to everyone, something like 10 off or like, you know, whatever static code you have. Now the dynamic is with every new user, this keeps on getting at it, right? Let's say I want to keep it 
the final one as 10% off final the reward message is here you get 10% off and expires in one hour redirect it to let's say home page if you i want to give it any prefix discount type is percentage i can select fixed amount or buy x get y so technically our app goes to your shopify and creates these on runtime so it's a percentage is nice i want to give it 10 percent and i think everything looks good let me just click on create and that's it this is created and i can just choose this final reward and click on save yay i can see the extras here how many points to win how many moves and the overall campaign prefix is game so let me just click on refresh campaign and now it's time to test our store let's refresh it so now you can see this button is here it looks ugly right now so you can go and configure it go to floating button change the size a little less keep it let's say 50 like how i showed you for a few other brands how they're doing it so you can really customize it i'm not gonna spend show you here and here we are so let's click on play and win as you can see we did everything let's call it test one people enter their emails and here they are so you can see like one of the custom products that we have now here and yay and i got extra 10 percent off and that's it i'm redirected back to the main last tip i wanted to show you was the analytics we have a full-blown analytics suit so if you have like a lot of campaigns that you keep on rotating and running so you can just click on them see how many users have entered how many orders have they placed you can actually see the day wise analytics how each user how many they are performing so this is like a little old campaign so the recent data is new but you can see how many people have seen it how many people have clicked it how many people have clicked the banners what is the proper analysis for discount goods for something like spin the wheel where you have like a lot of offers which of them are most distributed what are redeemed what are the percentage of the people who are using what percentage of them are new customers or like the other or the old and overall redemption percentage so you have like a full blown analytics suit you can download all of the users that have been here and you can like actually get a list of the orders and like you know the each of the discount codes that have been there so this is me up and up and let me know if you have any questions feel free to reach out on us and we'll be more than happy to help you